Hi everyone, Jopke here. It's been a long time since I did any crafting or created any uh, art journaling pages or mixed media, but I'm feeling inspired again and today I'm creating a piece on cardboard. And that will be a mixed media piece and uh, it's a piece of corrugated cardboard and I gessoed it with a white gesso and now I am adding some texture with a crackle paste. Uh, that is a crackle paste from Golden. And once that is dry, some uh, crackles will appear and that will provide a nice texture to the page. These are some stencils I bought at Action. And you Dutch people uh, know all about Action. It's a store that is located all over the country in the Netherlands. And they have very cheap, uh, all kinds of stuff, and also uh, quite an extended um, um, crafting area. So uh, I'm I'm shopping a lot there because they have very nice uh, stuff for very little money. So here I'm using one of the stencils, which has a kind of a hexagon. Um, uh, texture and I used the Amsterdam modeling paste for that. And now the um, texture on the background is done. I'm going to give it um, even more and I just gathered some bits and pieces to glue down on the surface. I want to go in a kind of horizontal line these are some uh, letters and numbers of, uh, I think it's, a, a, um, it's quite thick, it's sort of plastic, I think, material. And they were uh, adhesive, self-adhesive, but because of they are so old, they didn't stick very well. So uh, I use a white glue, uh, that is an art medium. I have a big bottle, uh, a liter bottle. Uh, and it's by Schörning. It's a, a, a brand from Denmark. Um, I switch over to my glue gun to add some more bits and pieces. And uh, these are, are things that I gathered uh, uh, through time. Um, I bought a lot at Action. I found uh, some uh, stuff that uh, I had lying around in drawers and in the garage. And um, so I have a big box with all that kinds of stuff. So I'm gluing it uh, all down uh, with the glue gun. I'm not bothered by uh, picking things out by color or anything because this will also get a coat of uh, gesso so um, hopefully the colors will all uh, be gone uh, so I centered a little heart in the middle and a little frame will go on top of that but first I'm going to uh, add a bit more texture with a modeling paste a very cheap modeling paste I bought at Action it's from Van Blijswijk and it's quite thin, so I hardly ever use it as uh, a modeling paste. But I also bought at Action a quite a while ago some uh, little stones and some uh, white um, sand kind of stuff. And I mix that with the, with the modeling paste, and uh, so that will give a kind of grit uh, uh, texture. Um, and I'm using it um, in a few areas on the surface of the cardboard, trying to um, make even more texture. So that is done. And now I am going to gesso it all. And because of the many colors and I want it to uh, uh, be white, I use a heavy gesso by Art Basics. It's the white, opaque, matte, ground acrylic, heavy gesso uh, by Finnabare. Um, that even uh, took me a few coats to get all the color um, disappear. 
and um, there was some painted uh, bits and pieces as well and probably I used some um, dilutions ink for that so uh, I didn't manage to get rid of the color but as I am going to use some uh, mint aquas and teal kind of colors um, I wasn't uh, it wasn't all that big of a problem so these are a few uh, spray bottles that I made myself with acrylic paint and water um, but before I'm going to use those I'm gluing down the little frame and um, at this time I noticed it was uh, the cardboard because of the the heavy weight on top and it it and all the glue and the wet wet stuff it was a bit of fragile so at that point I started to think about what I could do uh, with that to make it more um, st uh, strong you know what I mean so here I am uh, adding some color with the mint and the teal those are uh, homemade acrylic uh, sprays and this is a black acrylic paint in a needle bottle uh, and uh, I'm I'm going for the shadow I'm not so uh, not uh, painting the all those bits and pieces but I'm going in the little holes and the little corners uh, that appeared with gluing all those stuff down so using the pipette from the bottle but also a little brush and the needle bottle with the black I have to say I uh, watched a lot of videos of mixed media canvases uh, on YouTube so that was the inspiration for this piece I am not doing um, um, lots of this kind of stuff mostly um, I'm, I'm not working all that much in 3D but I thought to give it a go and it was very enjoyable to do because um, with all the bits and pieces gluing down adding color and trying this trying that so it was very very much fun to do and now um, adding a silks acrylic glaze in the color nutmeg and I am using a dry brush and I'm dry brushing over the top of all the elements um, to add a bit more color a bit more of the sh uh, shimmer glossy uh, look also I'm going around the edges and um, at this point I'm thinking what to do next I colored the heart in the middle uh, of the little frame with the silks as well and in a minute I will add more black to the little frame that is on top um, of it all I'm doing that with a needle bottle adding some water it's just to provide provide a shadow of grunginess uh, to the to the frame so and now I'm adding some bits and pieces a uh, few blingy things um, these are pearl stickers also from action uh, from deco time and they didn't stick that well so I'm using a glue as well to hold them down so this was a project um, the first in a very long time and I'm not even sure it's really me if you know what I mean um, I don't do this kind of pieces very often although I do like them I watched a lot of videos um, uh, on YouTube uh, mixed media canvases if you search for mixed media canvases you will uh, you will find a lot of lot of uh, tutorials about that so so uh, what I did also was using the acrylic ink the coffee to uh, color the edges of my uh, cardboard 
and because uh, I said I said before that it was quite fragile and uh, a bit um, um, how, a bit wonky. I, I'm not sure how you call it, but um, I found these uh, pieces of wood in our garage, and I decided I have uh, quite a few, about ten, I believe, and I decided to steal them. Uh, I'm not sure if they were uh, my son's or my husband's, but now they are mine, and I si decided to use that as. Um, uh, a background to glue to to stick the the mixed media piece on and um, well I am just gluing down some book text pieces of paper um, for the background and um, because it's very thick and very strong uh, my mixed media piece will hold on that very well and I don't have to be uh, afraid that it will um, get damage uh, in my craft room because I I could even hang it it's sort of like a frame really so I added all the book text and I marked where I wanted to have my mixed media piece and I'm using just a simple uh, double-sided tape it's very thin but I uh, think these uh, hold down stuff very well it's very strong so I um, cut a couple of pieces uh, on the back and st stick it down onto the wood panel and this is the distress spray stain the vintage photo to add a bit of a shadow uh, uh, along the edges um, just using the pipette and some water move it around a bit and manipulate it a bit and so hopefully a few drips and uh, a nice shadow will appear on the edges of the mixed media cardboard and um, I'm also going to use archival ink the coffee to um, give the edges of the wood panel a bit of color as well so that was my first piece in a very long time. I hope you enjoyed watching the process. I really, really enjoyed making this. Um, as I said, I'm not sure it's really me, but I really enjoyed the process. And uh, well, uh, for sure, now I am back to it and feeling the mojo again. I'll be back very soon with some other projects. So stay tuned. Have a great day. Lots of fun and see you again very soon. Bye bye.